an 11 pound striped bass, a striper. These fish are abundant here on the San Joaquin Delta in California and Fishing Planet. and salutations everyone jake vegas here with jake vegas digital and today we're gonna do some fishing i'm out here on the san joaquin delta in california and i've got myself the salmon monster loaded up with 40 pound test line to do lure fishing for these striped bass these stripers and i'm going to be using a variety of lures so i'm not going to get into each and every one here i'll go ahead and show you guys as i fish and change the lures out also while we're out here, I'm going to be using my Brutus pole, which is gonna be lined up with 28 pound line. And I got a six out hook and we're gonna be using large cut bait at the depth of 25 inches for these big striped bass out here. Yeah, so without further delay, let's just get right into it. San Joaquin Delta, California, still here. And to finish off this series in California, we're gonna go ahead and try to catch ourselves some striped bass. They do get trophy in unique size here. Maybe we can land some of those as well. So let's get to it. Day six for me out here on San Joaquin Delta in California, and I'm gonna start fishing for some striped bass. Haven't fished much for them, and I'm using the one and a half ounce jig head four out hook with the four inch red and white shad out here. Spawned in at the Foggy Sanctuary. It is where the docks are at on the map. This is right where you spawn in at and I'm casting to the left. Oh, we got a fish on. Casting to the left of uh, that green shack, house, barn, whatever you want to call it out there. Um, in between these docks to the left and between that house, I've had good luck casting lures out there for the little bit that I fished for these guys. This thing does not seem too terribly big. It's not really a rip and drag. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Okay. What a way to start the video with an 18 pound trophy striped bass. Look at that thing. Not bad. New personal record for me. Going to go ahead and take some pictures of this guy. Not a bad bass. I do believe there's some of these up by me in real life in Lake Michigan. We're going to put that one in to keep that. So I've switched my lure. I, I was catching largemouth bass off of the red and white shad that I was using earlier. So I switched my lure up to the one and a half ounce four aught lemon tiger medium spoon. We'll see how well this does for catching striped bass out here. And I'm just jigging it off the bottom, giving it a little twitch, reeling at a constant speed and just twitching it off the bottom. And that's how I've been catching the fish, the bass out here. So, oh, we got another fish on. Got another fish on. This is off that medium spoon, Lemon Tiger. This one might be a decent sized one. Drag is ripping just a little bit. Not too much though. Of course, this is probably a fairly heavy setup, the Salmon Monster for the striped bass that are out here, but it's all that I have right now. And I wanted to be more safe than sorry, so I uh, brought heavier equipment with me down here to California. We'll see what this is when we get it up here. Looks like another striped bass. Yeah, 14 pounder. Not as big as our trophy we caught earlier, but still a nice size fish. Look at that thing. We'll go ahead and keep him and put him in to keep that. Now I've been out here for a little bit. Um, I've been catching a few smallies and largemouth bass surprisingly off this medium spoon as well. We're going to see if we can't land ourselves another striped bass using this lemon tiger spoon. I let it sink all the way to the bottom. And then I just give it a little twitch, reel it in at a constant speed. And I've had decent luck so far with the variety of lures catching striped bass. We'll see if we land one on this cast. Just the twitching it off the bottom. Twitch, Twitch. <laughs> Props to anybody who can name what that's from. Twitch, Twitch. It's old school from my child. Oh, we got a fish on. 
It's old school from childhood memories from a uh, old TV show, I guess you'd say, cartoon. Props to anybody who gets what that is. All right, this one's this one seems like it's ripping just a little bit, not much either. You guys, you also catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, steelhead, chinook in this area. This is a little one, little 11 pound striped bass, little 11 pound striper. It's all right, makes money. We'll put this one in to keep net as well. Day seven out here. And I had some luck doing the white bass. Oh, we got a ding. Catching white bass uh, yesterday, fishing planet yesterday. And I tried switching it up. I'm using large cut bait with a six odd hook. And I'm casting in the same area, anywhere between that the docks to the left and that green uh, shack house barn thing out there. Oh, we got a fish on. We got a fish on. And I, I just let it sit out there. Until, uh, until something hits it. As far as I can tell over in this area, the only thing I've caught with the large cut bait is the striped bass. But you can use cut bait, I've heard, on other areas of the lake to catch the sturgeon that are in here as well. I've caught a few sturgeon myself, but I have a difficult time catching them consistently. I doubt this is a sturgeon. It's probably a white bass, or a striped bass, my bad, as well. Let's see. Almost got him up here to the dock. Now the reel I've got in here is a little bit lighter than what I got on my salmon monster, so the drag is ripping a little bit more. What do we got here? 16 pound striped bass. Not a bad size for a common striped bass. Look at that thing. Not bad. Not bad. $591. We'll keep him. Put him in the keep net. And I'm going to go ahead and cast right back out to that area. Usually between those two trees, uh, you see where I'm casting at now, there's a, there's trees out there and to the right of it. I try to cast in between those, and I've had good luck here with the uh, large cup bait. So now I'm just going to let it sit out there until we land ourselves another, hopefully, striped bass or a sturgeon. I'd go for a sturgeon right now, too. Those things pay fairly well, and they get pretty big, so... But we'll just let this sit out here for a little bit and see if we can't land another fish. Now, from my experience so far, fishing for striped bass is real similar to fishing for catfish, fishing for carp. It's a patience game. You, you throw... Oh, we got a ding. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a patience game. You throw it out there. You wait for a fish to come. We do have a ding right now, meaning that there is a fish playing with that cut bait out there. Here, we got another one. You can see the indicator, the uh, bobber indicator in the upper right-hand corner. It's kind of getting kind of getting messed with a little bit by something out there. We'll see if it takes it under. Come on. You know you want that tasty cut bait out there. You know you want to take it under. Oh, there we go. We got a fish on. Off of the cut bait, six odd hook, large cut bait. We'll reel this bad boy in and see what it is. Now, I've only caught one trophy. There are uniques out here as well. We'll see if this one is one of those two. I don't think it is. It doesn't have too much fight to it. I don't think it's even a trophy. Probably just another common striped bass. So let's see, we almost got it up here. What do we got? Yep, 13 pound striped bass. Not bad though, you know, still nice sized fish. Pay fairly decent. Would like to catch a trophy or a unique though. Look at that, 497, we'll keep it and put it in the keep net. Wasn't recording when I caught this trophy striped bass. I'm at 922 p.m. stitch. Trophy striped bass here, 28 pounder. 1,023. Guys, I'm fishing now. Uh, I was fishing on the right-hand side of the dock. Out there, you'll see... You'll go ahead and uh, you'll see power lines, uh, power line tower, okay. and to the left of that, and to the left of that, you will see uh, windmills, and that is where I was casting to with this medium spoon, two ounce, number six, uh, holographic spoon, guys. At nighttime, I'm just casually fishing here with Stitch, and I wasn't recording. 
but I landed this guy and I figured I'd go ahead and throw it in the video. We'll go ahead and keep it and put it into KeepNet. Maybe there's some uniques out there. Maybe we could land some of those. That'd be nice too. Look at this. Again, casually fishing with Stitch. And I caught myself a unique striped bass, guys. Landed the unique. Didn't have the fight on video. I got this thing up here and uh, it was unique and I was surprised that I caught it. Yeah, look at that thing. 34 pounder, good for $1,252. Five o'clock in the morning, guys. I caught this one off the four inch black shad with a one and a half ounce jig head, size four odd hook. And again, I'm casting to the right this time where I caught that trophy earlier and I landed this guy. You guys will see it out there. Uh, there is the power lines and you'll see a tower. And then to the left of the tower, you will see the windmills. And this is where I landed this guy. I think this is a great spot to end the video, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Unique Stripe Bass, guys, right here on Jake Vegas Digital. <laughs> All right, gonna conclude here. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you wanna stay up to date on future content and haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world. And we will see you next time.